Hello everyone, Kinu here. Today I do like to discuss an older game of mine called Funeral Manager. It's a satirical game centered around unconventional topic of handling the diseased in a more funny and satirical way. The inspiration of it was actually obviously Team Hospital and Graveyard Keeper. First and foremost, I want to acknowledge that some of you may or may not hear about this game. And that's entirely understandable. So you wonder, what happened to Funeral Manager, you may ask? Allow me to answer that question. So the development of Funeral Manager happened around 5 years ago. And as you know, I took the inspiration of Team Hospital and Graveyard Keeper and even a little bit of Prison Architect. Only in this game, the unique take was actually building and manage a graveyard instead of a hospital. The player could also build various machines for different type of people who die in a satirical way. And beside that, you also had the living dead who you must help to get to the other side as well. The fact that players could earn an income not only from buried the dead, but also from other income sources like people who come to your graveyard. Not was only the job of the player to bury them, but also to keep the dead happy. Because if they weren't happy, they could rise up and leave your graveyard. Which make this game a little bit more interesting on the managing part. So what happened? Well, the development stopped like two years ago. And it was because several challenges surfaced. The first one was actually a technical debt problem. And it became a big hurdle to fix every time a new piece in it that I just solved. It also coupled with a little bit of over ambition scope and unfulfilled promises. Basically, I tried too much in this game without focusing actually on the core aspect what the game actually is. For example, reflecting like in Team Hospital, you concentrate about caring about three types of patients. The first group needs always medicine, the second group needs always a psychiatrist, and the last one needs a form of special treatment like blow the head or somebody go to surgeon. In my game, I focus too much on things that has nothing to do with the game. For instance, I wanted to have grave robbers in it. I wanted a dance like in the Michael Jackson song Thriller. I want to have my visitors eat and drink and using the bedroom and many many more things that doesn't add more gameplay value. So. My focus had laid down more in the three aspects of bury people. The second one is to take care of the living dead. And the last part is actually the vitals who take a look at your graveyard. And it should make the scope a little bit more downsized. So instead the vitals eat and drink, they can only drink and take a look around your graveyard and pay something. That's all. But not like uh, having food, having drinks, uh, feeling a little bit nausea or feeling tired. Those are extra aspects that this game actually don't need. For the living dead, for instance, they can drink, they can use the bathroom but they also get cured from their moving on problem. And the last group should be actually the most easiest one. They get a wife, they going to a morgue, then they get embalmed, make a coffin, and then gets buried or cremated. And by cremated, I mean saving space. And that's it. And what happens around for all three things should be actually beauty. You know, how beautiful your graveyard is, the happier the deaths and fetuses are. So the burning question remains, is Funeral Manager best at peace or is it ready for another revival? I believe it's a bit of both. While I admit some missteps in the past, the game still holds a promising concept. Thus my plan moving forward is this. I will first complete Sculpt for Steam. Afterwards, I will re-evaluate Funeral Manager and determine what it needs to become an outstanding game. I already possessed a robust grid system that's being used in Sculpt. What remains is a fine-tuned AI and brainstorm on some better systems systems that Funeral Manager can use. For art, I don't see any problems right now. I have a ton of art from the main game that I actually was building, so it should not be a big problem. But in code-wise, I have to basically start almost from square one. 
So I hope to inform you enough. I'm going to see, make a decision and I will come back on this. For now, I want to say to you, have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.